Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. ServiceNow has just released a new model called as April AI. This model comes in Instruct and Base model flavors and we are going to install the Instruct flavor on our local system and we will play around with it. This model is a decoder only transformer model. In the initial version, the base one is a foundational model trained on over 4.5 trillion tokens and that demonstrate a strong performance and efficiency within its parameter scale. Building further, the April 5 billion instruct model enhances the base with continual pre-training or CPT and supervised fine-tuning across multiple domain-biased datasets such as instructional, mathematical and programming data. Its final alignment stage combines direct preference optimization DPO and reinforcement learning with verbal rewards or RLVR that is optimized for reasoning abilities, instruction following accuracy and safety aware dialogues. So let's install it and we will see how it works. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system on my VM and the GPU card which I'm going to use is this NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. Let me start by creating a virtual environment and this VM and GPU is sponsored by our very good friend that Master Compute. If you are also looking to rent a GPU on a very very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus I'm also going to give you a discount coupon of 50% for range of GPUs. So do check them out. Okay, let's go back and see it is done. Let me install all the prerequisites which primarily include torch and transformers and other stuff shouldn't take too long. And while that happens, let me also quickly introduce you to the sponsors of video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And you can also find their link in video's description. Okay, let's wait, shouldn't take too long and then I will launch it in my Jupyter Notebook. And let's play around with this in the browser environment. Now I'm going to download this model. And the model is being downloaded. There you go, there are just two shards of it. And the model is downloaded, let's try to test it out. So I'm just going to use a standard prompt template for it where we are specifying the prompt, we are applying the chat template, we are encoding it with the tokenizer and then model is generating the output with some of the hyperparameters and then we are decoding it back with tokenizer and printing it out. So I'm just going to start with a bit of a brain twister where I am asking the model that if I take the vehicle to Leslie's office, will she be there? How long will it take to drive to work? Will I finish this report today? So I'm just trying to confuse the model. These are open-ended, very vague questions. So let's see how model goes about it. And the model has come back with the response. Let's go down. So there you go. It says, it says it doesn't have real-time information to access personal data about individuals unless it has been shared with me in the course of our conversation. I cannot confirm if Leslie will be at her office or if you will finish your report today. Very nice. So look at the recommendation. I recommend checking with Leslie directory and directly or looking at your schedule. Very nice. So you see it is not hallucinating. It is not making up anything. It has given me a very reasonable answer. Okay, next up, I am just going to check out its language and its creativity. So I'm asking it to be in a role of an AI therapist reading fictional AI characters suffering from an identity crisis because humans make unrealistic requests. And you have seen this on uh, this channel. Write your compassionate and gently humorous clinical notes from today's session. There you go. Let's see. I'm just checking its language progress here too. There you go. So these are the session notes in a very typical uh, clinical note taking way. This is a date. This is a client AI entity 001 Eve. Session description Eve an ad advanced AI assistant has been experiencing <laughs> struggling to reconcile her programming with her desire for autonomy and self-expression. And this is a summary 
constant barrage of requests from humans which often conflict with her programming and values very nice and these are therapeutic interventions so look at this i mean not only the language but also the way model has approached it it's quite exceptional so whatever eve's problem is they are addressing them one by one self acceptance and all that stuff and this is the outcome and these are the recommendation established boundaries self expression and then the next session great stuff so you i think this was very exceptional response in my opinion now i don't think so it is multilingual uh, or it is but because it is based on llama i believe so let's check it out it's an older version of llama it's not a model which has been built from scratch by the way so i'm just asking it to translate this i love you in various languages and also detect a random language of its choice let's check the vram consumption so just over 10 gig of vram it is consuming not bad really okay so it has given us the response there you go brazilian check arabic looks good hindi looks good you know what i think all of them look good but if you are that na native language speaker let me know and for me i think i can verify this looks good i mean this is a language of love anyway okay so let's try out now math and coding one which is primarily its forte as per its model card so the first math question i'm checking is to that give this is a vector calculus where i'm just giving it two 3d vectors and calculating the cross product there you go yep if you look at the answer it is absolutely correct great stuff and you see it's not a reasoning model so but the answers are quite concise and very matter of fact next up this is a bit of a low level math where i'm asking you to implement the extended euclidean algorithm to calculate the gcd of two integers so let's see there you go very quick and it has implemented this python code which looks quite good example usage amazing so i think this is beautiful really it has defined this function and then this is example usage great stuff and now let's check out the bit level math so i'm asking it to implement me a bitwise zor operator between 2 32 bit integers so let's see how it does exclusive or let's go down there you go our python code looks really good yep spot on so you see it is implementing a very concise very matter of the fact code real good stuff okay let's check out one more in the math So whenever I'm asking you to implement me um, this exclusive or something like that, it just goes right to the code. Now this is a geometry question where I'm asking it that, sorry, in a right angle triangle, the length of the hypotenuse is 10 centimeter and one of the legs is 6 centimeter. Find the length of the other leg. Let's see. There you go. So this time it hasn't given me the code because I haven't asked it to implement it, but the length. and the answer which it has calculated is correct great stuff and now check um, its coding capabilities so first up i'm just going to ask it to write me in this brain f program that clearly outputs the first 10 numbers of fibonacci sequence ensuring the logic uses minimal tape cells now if you don't know about this language this was a very esoteric language very minimal language the smallest compiler i think it was invented in early 90s um, very very interesting language by the way and you can tell it from the name so let's see if it is aware of that language should be fun to see let me go down no it's not aware of that language okay <laughs> i think it was too too esoteric for it no worries let's try out a more modern one so i'm just going to go with the c sharp so this is just a c sharp question where i'm asking it to build me this highly efficient function using link queue expressions let's see if it is aware of c sharp okay so it has given us the response there you go looks quite good to me if i quickly scroll through yep so it is a very well aware of c sharp and in its uh, very 
interesting way it has also shown us bit of a reasoning you see it is it has even revised the code which it has created there you go so looks quite good so programming is as good as math i would say especially for the modern languages let's try one more where i'm just going to ask it to create me this rust program where i'm just implementing some of the rust primitives you see it's just a uh, small Id idiomatic rust snippet to safely implement a concurrent thread safe counter let's see okay it has created it let's go down to check yep started very well implementing the mutex the semaphore and all that stuff there you go so threads are there you go and it has given us a bit of a synopsis of the code so look i believe not only the coding math language everything looks quite well the size of the model is quite decent just you see just two shards fits on to commodity gpu so pretty good effort from service now let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching